Hey guys, greetings, greetings. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is just a quick introduction to um, this video. Um, as you can see by the title down below, I'm about to explain that in the next clip and then I will explain further what's happening. Check it out. Literally today is my birthday and I just want to share a piece of that um, with you guys and just share 20 something things that you know I've learned in my years of nje ogukula be it tips be it advice be it um, just you know great habits to have that I've picked up in my young 20 something years of life um, and this is a young chill this is a chill session video guys we are chilling um, you probably won't see my passion maybe I will get passionate with some of the the things but just chilling grab yourself a cup of juice a cup of coffee what do I say a cup of something nice um, I have a my friend a glass a glass of speaking of a glass of I have my friend here did you say hi hi guys <laughs> um, we gotta pop some champagne and celebrate um, this is not really champagne it's just for the, it's just for the purpose of popping something um, this is a, a non-alcoholic not non-alcoholic non <laughs> just disclaimer so we're gonna open this <clears throat> and uh, Yes! Poppy! Woo! Okay, so we're back, we're back, <laughs> we're back, we're back. So, what had happened was, um, that was on my birthday. That was on my birthday, the 4th of August, uh, 2020. Um, that was, the plan was, to really record that video um, and I just got super distracted um, I couldn't finish <laughs> I didn't finish the video it was the day there's only one day of the year that is my birthday so I want to share that with you I really wanted to spend time and share um, my birthday with you guys but anyway my point is I couldn't finish the video guys so this is me now taking two taking two um, so drum roll I'm just gonna be sharing <laughs> I'm just going to be sharing just a few things that I want you guys to just be encouraged by um, and really a lot of things that are on my mind so the first thing the first thing I say this all the time all the time all the time and I think for the first time I've really taken like I've been cognizant about this um, being kind to yourself I know I say that all the time and I will continue to say it and I think um, it's so important you guys that you know when you have when you are just going through life and you have so many thoughts the thing is the thoughts the thoughts the thoughts it's all about the thoughts it's all about what's on your mind and you can tend to have the negative talk you can tend to it's either you're feeling some sort of imposter syndrome you're feeling you're not enough or you're feeling just overwhelmed by all that's happening or you have so many tabs open in your mind just you're on autopilot there's just a lot going on so be kind to yourself and be so intentional about that that's the first thing um and my second thing rather i'm so i'm looking down because i have a whole list yeah <laughs> so rather try and make the effort than nothing at all um always make the effort always make the effort and incrementally I'm um, one of my favorite you guys I'm plugging you right now I'm about to plug you one of my favorite clinical psychologists um, he's my online psychologist you guys he is my online psychologist um, Jordan Peterson if you do not know Jordan Peterson please I am plugging you I am putting you on right now if you've never been plugged before in your life you are being plugged um, but Jordan Peterson speaks about this all the time. Um, you know you have a lot of work to do. You know you got to do something. Just take 15 minutes of just take 15 minutes. Say, okay, I'm gonna put a timer because I really just don't have the motivation to the, to do this. I just do not, I just don't have the will to do it. I'm gonna put a timer for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna just for 15 one five guys, one five minutes, and I'm just gonna do this one task. And if, 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 I, if after the 15 minutes when the alarm comes and it's like dee -dee 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 -dee, 15 minutes gone and I, I feel like, well, I, I tried, 
15 minutes, that's good. That's good. And if you feel like, well, the work is already in front of me, my laptop is open, well, I can maybe do another 15 minutes. And then you try. Incrementally, this thing, or like literally if the one day you can only do 15 minutes, well done. Tomorrow, you will try again 15 minutes. The next day, maybe you will do 20 minutes. The next day, you'll maybe do 30 minutes. And the next day, you get into the habit of doing what you need to do because things, at the end of the day, they need to be done. They need to be accomplished. They need to be complete. They need to be submitted. They need to be, um, you know, you know what I mean? 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 So yeah, guys, um, make the effort. Make the effort incrementally. Gangane, gangane. This is my hashtag. This is my new thing. Gangane, gangane. I, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but during the beginning of the lockdown, especially when there was just absolutely no sort of movement, no exercise, nothing, I gained weight. Um, I don't know about you, give this video a like if you did gain weight, <laughs> um, because we're all in this boat together. So I gained weight and I was just like, uh, surely, surely, surely not, surely not. Like when I have to go to the shop and I have to wear jeans and I'm struggling to wear my jeans, I'm like, surely, surely not. <laughs> And so now getting back, also now getting back into exercising, getting back into getting out, wearing my tackies, wearing my gym clothes, it is a mission. And it, it's been a thing of gangane, gangane. That's like me every day. Like sometimes um, I will get out to go for a jog. And it's like the fact that I, will, I, I, got out, I got out of my bed, wow. And then I wore like I wore my tights, I wore my, sh my I wore my my gym attire apparel, and I wore my techies. Like winning, I'm not even out the gate. I'm not even out out of the gate. Like winning, winning, and so the fact that I go and I'm outside and I'm walking before I even you know take out my Nike running app and I press start to you know start calculating my run. The fact that I've made all those incremental, all the fact that I've um, gangane, gangane, I've made all those efforts. Shout out to Lisa. Shout out to you, girl. You know, eventually I'll start getting there and jogging the whole time, like increasing my pace. Obviously, I want my pace to be better. Um, and, you know, I'll get into, I'll get into the habit of it eventually, but I have to start. Gangane, gangane, hashtag gangane, gangane, please comment down below, hashtag hanyane, 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 kanyane, 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 uh, a little bit by little bit, guys, bit by bit, bit by bit, <laughs> um, another thing, improve your prayer life, I think, um, this is super key, improve your prayer life, make time to speak to God, make it an often thing, and you'll see God moving in your life, there's nothing more I can say about that, but just having to improve your prayer life, speak to God more. I promise you, right now, you're not speaking to God enough. Journal more. Journal, journal, journal more. Dear God, write all your thoughts. Pray in the, and then end it in the name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. Write to God. Share your heart to God. Whatever is going on in your life, talk to God some more. And you will see God in the details of your life. You will see him every day working in your life. Talk to God more. Improve your prayer life. Um, you have to speak to someone, be it um, a a friend, um, a psychologist. And the thing is, when you when you go through some sort of uh, mental mental um, just um, health um, health suffering, um, I, I call it suffering. It's a mental health suffering. And you, you, you tend to be thinking in one pattern a lot of the time. It's, your mind is, is constant, constantly thinking about certain things only. And what's fantastic about being able to see, speak to someone professionally is that they can give you a broader perspective um, and make you look at your situation, make you look at what you're going through in different angles. Um, 
and give you the practical tools <laughs> what you can really really do um to help you so speak to someone um i'm not just saying therapy alone which is fantastic and i'm all for um but also just have friends that you guys really speak about life that they know what's happening in your life they know the details the decisions um that you are making and you know they they you're getting their inputs and um but it has to be people that are on your caliber <laughs> people that really want the best for you and um, people that really um are for you the whole time the whole time all right i think this is more of just a, of an encouragement like always know that you're never defeated i think uh, there's so much negative chats guys there's so much negative chat that you just like oh well we're all struggling we're all negative and it's just like nah that's not your portion and um really know that yes you are discouraged yes you are just sad and you might feel hopeless a lot of hopelessness um you are just anxious and um lack of motivation you have no appetite all the time these are symptoms of depression in fact um you you're lacking the ability to concentrate or make choices and it's just it's just a tough time um but always know that you're not defeated like it's not you're not at the bottom like yes you're in the pit but you're not at the rock bottom you like you're not at like the end of the pit like you know it's not over with me you know that's cliche i know <laughs> that it's not over until god says it's over <laughs> but really know that you're never defeated and i take that from second corinthians 4 verse 8 and 9 let me read that that will be worthwhile i'm gonna read from verse 8 from verse 8 it's a very popular verse i'm sure you guys already know it it says we are hard pressed on every side oh 2020 talk about just the first line <laughs> we are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed you're not crushed we are perplexed i am perplexed i am confused about all that's going on but i'm not in despair like i'm not just like i'm confused i'm really asking god to go see wow like like wow i'm really perplexed but i'm not in despair um i'm persecuted but not forsaken i'm struck down but i'm not destroyed like like i'm it's not not over <laughs> um i'm not destroyed like i'm struck down i'm hurt i'm sad i'm sad a lot <laughs> i'm overwhelmed a lot but i'm not in despair i i have hope i still have hope oh i still have hope i still have hope okay now i'm gonna preach what now i'm gonna preach one more verse guys okay this this verse this verse encourages me Ha, let me find it. <laughs> um, let me find it real, real, real quick. Um, that wow. Yeah, and yeah, go but always the buts. Psalms 43 verse 5. Guys, Psalms. If you're really going through a lot, just just open a lot of Psalms. Psalms 43, Psalm 77. Just read it. Just read it. Just read it. Anyway, Psalms 43, sorry, verse 5. It says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God. Hope in God. That is, have some, we will always have hope. Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him. Like, and and do, you, do you get this? That I shall yet praise him. Like right now. Because I am so perplexed. I am so just sad. That it's kind of hard for me to praise God right now. It says I shall yet praise him. I know I will praise him. Because he is worthy. And he's faithful. And he deserves all the praise and glory. I know I will praise him. But right now. I'm not, kind of struggling to do so. I will praise him though it says for yet i i am yet to praise him i know i will but my soul is a bit cast down but i hope in god <laughs> let me read another version guys i'm reading king james um but let's read um new living translation that's more you know <laughs> that's more um speaking of tips and advice if you're reading the bible 
um, I really encourage you to read it in different versions, to, especially if something is really, really speaking to you, um, if some sort of scripture is speaking to you a lot, um, read it in different versions, read it from like the more difficult, like literally King James Version, and then you go to uh, NIV, um, and then you go to New Living Translation, and then you go to GNT, GNT, um, good news translation, good news translation, very, very, if you're reading, a, if you're not familiar with the Bible, if you're not familiar with reading the Bible, uh, good news translation. So if you have the Bible app, um, which you should have, I mean, come on, the Bible app is everything. <laughs> um, you want to, you want to be reading GNT, um, that just really explains it very simplistically and very nicely. Hey, I'm plugging y'all today. Anyway, I'm reading it now in, L <laughs> in New Living Translation. It says, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again. Like I've praised him before. I kind of can't praise him now, but I will praise him again. My savior and my God. Amen, hallelujah, church. Church. Okay, um, this is this is just basic. I think I spoke, one of my, actually my top videos on YouTube is, um, laziness will ruin your life um, and I remember speaking about um, just the simpler thing of making your bed, cleaning your room. Um, it's so important you guys um, <laughs> to just clean your surroundings for your mind. It's a, it's a subconscious thing. Um, I don't want to go into too much depth about it but um, and I know, I know Jordan Peterson also speaks about this a lot. Um, make your bed. Make your bed clean your room, clean your surroundings. It really helps you just to um, have the right state of mind, be in the right state of mind um, and get things done. Um, and when things are beautiful around you, um, you want everything else that you do to be beautiful. You know, make, make your space beautiful um, wherever you are. Like, make your space beautiful. Put, have candles. Oh my gosh, guys, candles. Have candles, have plants, have flowers. Just in yeah. yeah. Just have candles, guys. Uh, like, yeah, that's what I, I'm always going to buy, candles. I always have candles burning all the time. It's just just make your the area around you beautiful and just uh, a, a, a lovely place around you, you know? And your thoughts and your state of mind and everything else that you do is just so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> um, jam. I, um, you guys, make it a thing to jam. Um, have a playlist. Have a playlist of have a jamming session where you just jam for the sake of just um, increasing your your heart your heart rates and just having your just jam. Like make the music loud and dance. Um, and just enjoy yourself. <laughs> Um, I think I have those moments a lot and they are the most healthiest things that I do. Um, just jam and just be happy and just, as you're jamming, just even say things that you're grateful for, you know. Um, be it gospel music, be it I'm a piano, which, hey, I'm your girl with that. Um, be it your Af Afro mix. I know, it's, I think it's important to have a playlist and jam, guys, like just having your own jamming session, like make jamming a thing. Make it a thing. Jam in your car, jam in your house, jam, jam the whole... Next. Um, I think I'm going to end with this, guys. This video is getting long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have so much to share. Um, but I think um, I'm going to share this last. Um, and I'm going to have a young testimony as well. So, um, have faith. Have faith. Sometimes, um, I'm like, do I have faith? I have to ask myself. Do I, do I, do I, do I have that, do I have that right? <laughs> um, and you know, having faith of a mustard seed. Um, I think having faith of a mustard seed is... It's like, you know, you, you know, you, you might see people, um, especially in the Christian world, you're like, hey, we are called a mundo. Hey, you know, um, but really, um, have faith and really, 
<sighs> this is a whole video guys this is a whole nother video <laughs> it's a whole other video um but i want to tell you guys and i think even my testimony my academic t uh testimony i will share that eventually eventually but i'm still within it um but anyway quick story um yeah, so when I came to Cape Town, um, I knew, uh, I'm still young, I, I know I still want to do a lot of things, especially in my profession. I love what I do, guys. I love the science. I love the research. I love it so much. Um, but I still knew that I still wanted to study more, like, <laughs> I still want to, there's, there's some way, I know where I want to go. I have goals. I know what I want to do in the science field um and the medical field so i'm in the science and medical together <clears throat> so anyway like i'm okay let me cut this short let me let me cut this short um started this fantastic degree that i'm doing now um at the university of cape town when i got accepted for this program um i had no money for it i remember my parents were here my parents were my first visitors here this year and um, I remember telling them that, hey fam, I'm going back to school. But don't worry, like, don't worry about the fees because I'm gonna sort it out. I'm working, I'm a working girl, I can save, I can save, <laughs> I can save and I'll pay for myself. So don't worry mom and dad, I know I've been going to school for years, I know it's like, why am I studying again? So I tell my parents, don't worry about it. Um, and I started this degree because I'm like, this is what I want to do. I got accepted. It's not even easy to be accepted for this. And, um, let's do it. I said, yes, with faith. Nothing but faith. I don't know about you. Yo, I don't know about the University of Cape Town fees. I was shocked when I saw how much I have to pay. Um, but I was like, God, <laughs> I serve a living God. I have faith. I have faith. I got faith. I got faith. <laughs> anyway, um, so obviously school, I'm working, I'm saving, but I'm just like, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. But anyway, I'm trying to save. But also, at the same time, I'm trying to pay rent. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to sustain myself. Long story short, um, I got a bursary. Hey. I got a bursary um, and the way that I got it, I always say this, you know when you can't explain something, you can't explain it, you don't have words to articulate sometimes, you just, you can't explain how it happened and it just, favor, favor, <laughs> it can only be God, so it can only be God and and throughout, my point is uh, with all this story guys, is that I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to pay these fees. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to save, but the, I'm, I'm always going to my savings. I need to always use my savings. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know how this is going to happen. Um, but I have faith. Sometimes it was so little. So little. Faith of a mustard seed. But have faith. And trust God. Have faith. That's how we live this life thing. Um, and because I could have said no. In January when I got accepted because I'm like how am I gonna pay but I said yes I decided and I said yes and I had faith and I trusted that God will pull through for me and he did and he can do the same for you are you hearing what I'm saying are you hearing what I'm saying that God can pull through in whatever situation but you need to have that faith you need to thrive on faith you need to function on faith faith needs to be who you are it's what you do the whole time, the whole time. And I'm speaking to myself even now. Um, have faith. Have faith. All right, you guys, this is a long video. How many minutes? Sure. Ha. Um, but cheers thank you so much you guys for um watching i hope you guys were just chilling and you know enjoying this content um but yeah i plan to bring you so much more guys like there's so much more that i want to share there's so much more that we need to chat about and we will chat about um but yeah 
with all the craziness of everything but um thank you so much thank you so much for watching till the very end and if you are born in august because that's when the best people are born the most amazing people are born in august shout out shout out happy birthday to you august is such a beautiful month i mean women's month i mean come on i mean i mean okay so yeah if you are born in august um happy birthday to you um the best month definitely the best month please don't hate guys just just admit just admit just admit anyway i love you guys i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video from me to you